Krakatoa's collapse in 1883 hurled out wave after wave. Tsunamis pounded the island. Oceanologist Jose Barrera has been studying the impact of the wave that hit Java. He's identified massive boulders all over Anier that shouldn't be here. Jose, this is just a ridiculous size. Somewhere around 125 tons. This thing was picked up from a section of the reef here, probably right offshore, and deposited into this position back in 1883. And the beach is littered with other huge chunks of displaced coral. The velocity of the water was so strong that it was actually able to pick up these pieces of coral and translate them here as if they were small pebbles or grains of sand, but on a, on a bigger scale. On a bigger scale. Well, this one here is probably the size of a, a small car, minibus maybe. And I mean, that really does demonstrate the sheer power of that wave that could pick this up and then just dump it here on the shore. Would the people have even seen the tsunami? Had you been here, you would have been under this rain of uh, volcanic ash and things raining down, and you would have been dark as night, middle of the day. You would have had this long, low rumbling sound that would have started and then gradually gotten larger and louder and louder until finally it came ashore. It was definitely a big mess of roiling, boiling water coming ashore. The tsunami tore into Anier's coastline, leveling everything in its path. 